a young arrives on the scene at the start of the film. Who is distributing the newspaper in a town? There was also a funeral home in that town. The child notices that no one has collected the lying newspaper outside from funeral home. Then that child moves to detect the funeral home, taking his camera. Going there, he takes a photo. Where he witnesses someone's eyes. Then a man appears before that child from that funeral home. The name of this man is Dark. Being frightened, that child flees without taking his camera. Afterwards, Dark puts that camera in a box. It had already stuffed with some belongings of others. These were the belongings of those who had already visited here. Then it is seen that Dark is officiating the funeral of a kid. A girl named Sam appears there after the funeral. Sam had actually visited there for a job. Because Dark had displayed a job-wanted poster. Then Sam observes the mysterious collection of the funeral home. There were also some books in that collection. These were capturing the attention of Sam. And she was also inspiring by them. Dark tells that there are the tales of the dead people. Sam requests on it, tell me some stories. And all stories should be horror and fascinating. After this, Dark tells her the first story. This story belongs to the time S, where a girl is seen. Who moves to the lavatory during the celebration of a party. The peculiar liquid is stuck on her as she switches on the light. Here it is revealed that girl was actually a robber. Who had moved to the lavatory, making a lame excuse. She had stolen the wallets of many guests of that party. She throws the wallets while she keeps the money safe in her possession. She had also stolen someone's precious wristwatch there. Then she hears the noise of someone from a cabinet. She tries hard to open the door of the cabinet. So that door is opened hardly. Opening the door, she is badly scared. Because a scary and horrific monster had been imprisoned in that cupboard. And that monster had the tentacles. That monster was exerting to come outside. Anyhow, that girl locks the door of cupboard. Then she begins to leave from there while strolling. Suddenly, that wristwatch is dropped down by her. A loud noise is created because of the falling wristwatch. That tentacled monster comes outside, hearing that noise. And it drags that girl into the cupboard with it, grabbing her. And it also extincts the lights there along with it. Here their first story completes. Sam comments, this story was average not highly praiseworthy. Because she does not like much of this story. She says to Dark, I want to hear the scarier story. But Dark takes Sam's signature on an agreement. And that funeral home is being visited later. Then Dark tells her the second story. And the year of this story is. It means the story after the years of previous one. Where a boy is shown who meets a girl. Both are befriended after a conversation. They spend much of the time with each other. Next day, that boy notices the rashes on his body as he wakes up. So he visits a doctor for his treatment. Where the doctor was hearing the sound of a creature from his abdomen. And the most shocking medical report appears of that boy. It is that boy is expectant. As that boy returns to his house. His abdomen begins to grow. He shares it with his friend through a call. Then he moves to that same girl. Reaching her house, he shows his anger on her. You are responsible for this. Look. What I faced. Immediately, that boy begins to feel ache. His skin was also looking eccentric. Then his abdomen is instantly burst. As a result, that boy loses his life. But a monster baby comes into life when he is dying. Then that girl's mother saves that monster baby in a room. Where many monster babies were already there. This told story seems fascinating and faultless to her. Because this story was exciting along with the great critical elements. Then Dark leads Sam to the cellar. Where he shows a dead body of a girl to Sam. Then he tells the story of the same girl. 
And this story belongs to the year. It means this story is also after years of the previous story. Where husband and wife are shown who were happy in their conjugal life. And the husband used to love deeply with his spouse. But that girl faced the mental disorder exactly after the marriage. The husband of that girl attempted hard to cure his wife. He used to take care of her. But she does not get even the little recovery. His husband was greatly upset because of this. He used to take much stress. Once, he has a candlelight dinner with his wife for her recovery at night. But his wife was neither uttering a single word nor eating anything. Even she had stopped to act. Then that lady's husband gifts her a sculpture. And he also gives the overdose of drug to his wife at her dinner. Because it has been suggested to him by the doctor. Because wanted to free his wife from her agonized life. That lady's husband did not want to carry it out. But he had to act upon it. Suddenly, that lady's hand begins to stir. And she catches her husband's hand. Her husband makes his wife vomit, witnessing the movement of her. Because she might be dead due to the overdose of drug. At the same time, his wife's head strikes with the table. As a result, the kept sculpture before her is thrust into her head. And she meets her end. Observing it, her husband instantly calls the doctor. And he reveals the whole story to the doctor about her movement and death. Doctor says to him, do something with your wife's dead body. It means, dispose her somewhere. Hearing it, that lady's husband acts the same. He puts his wife's dead body in a box. But that lady's feet were not